So all my fans at KO Avenue, uh, this is Brian Ju. Um, I believe this is my first time doing KO Avenue. Yes, this is my first time introducing myself on KO Avenue. Uh, I just hope that you guys continue to support everything that I do. Um, and uh, sometimes I really hope to be back soon again. Uh, the very biggest important reason why I'm third wave is in Malaysia right now is because Never. Malaysia is a country that only has 9% Christians and we feel that you know, third wave needs to be here. It was actually a calling of ours to be here to uh, you know, kind of help people out here to, to open their eyes and their hearts and give them information about what it is to be a Christian and how great it is to be a Christian. Say more. <laughs> the thing is, being in Malaysia, we actually met other celebra celebrities here, Malaysian celebrities, mm -hmm. that do go to church, that do believe in Christ, and we have their support and they're backing us up as well during this whole project. And, uh, it's just a great feeling, you know, it's, it's not like me, Pastor Johnny, and Alexander, and my part of group. I feel like everybody that's on board and supporting us, even you guys interviewing me, like, you guys are part of third one time. Actually, for those of you who don't know, I just finished up doing uh, a musical called Rant, which is a huge Broadway success uh, for many, many years, and I did the Korean version of it. And since then, I've been cast for a few other roles in other you know, projects and sitcom dramas and stuff. So for now that I'm, I'm sure that it's going to happen, uh, mid-November I should be filming a sitcom now. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I'm very, very funny, goofy character, but at the same time, uh, nice guy. <laughs> well, actually, the funny thing about it, it wasn't like um, I was emotionally sad because of uh, my girlfriend and the relationship in the past. I recorded that song during rant season when I was practicing for rant. And to be honest, rant is a killer, it's a killer production where it took a lot of my time. I was exhausted, I was drained, you know, and so. During that time, I was really emotional myself, so just you know, just going to practice every day. So when I got the track, I was into the studio. I pretty much expressed how my emotions were during that period of my life. Um, I guess that natural sadness just came out without me so Um, you know, what, like I said in another interview before, we don't actually go to the idol with stars. We have our name out there, and if they want to be part of our project, we say yes. You know, as long as they have a heart for it, as long as they're you know, serious about wanting to help out, I think they're probably allowed to be part of the project. That's why Third Wave is in a group where it's set. It's not just like three guys, we're going to do the same, that's it. Third Wave, literally, can anybody get on set? It's a selfless you know, project. So if you're a selfish person, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, this is my second time in Malaysia. So, the first time I was in Malaysia, I loved it. I got to sightsee. I tried to play foods. I had awesome Malaysian fans. So, for me, the first time around was so great that the second time around that I came, or knew that I was going to be in Malaysia, I was excited. I was uh, anticipating a lot, and I can't wait to the actual, actual event tomorrow night. I think it's going to be great. I think a lot of you are going to be touching by this whole event. And um, while I'm here, I'm hoping to try other foods as well.